Merry Christmas and all of that festive jazz. Uh, the time for fun and giving of gifts. So guess what? This is going to be my little gift to you. Some may know it, some may not. Um, but anyway, long lines. Flipping it. What a nightmare these things are. But unfortunately, there is still a place for them within the training journey. Extremely handy tool to have a physical contact or a physical presence with your dog if they're out at distance. So you turn up at, at uh, your training ground or your location, oh no, I'm gonna train the dog to recall. The dog doesn't listen to me, it never comes back when I call it. Clip the long line on, let the dog go. If the dog ignores you, give it a check and you've got a physical presence to get the dog to come back to you. Yeah, good luck, yay, bosh, then you can reward it. However, the issue is, which we all know, is you turn up at the training ground, right, I'm gonna get my, oh, right. Your dog's here or your dog's still in, right, hang on. And it takes you 15 minutes to find the hook to clip onto the dog. Got, right, and then it takes you another 15 minutes to stand there and untangle the rest of it. No, 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 no. So my little Christmas gift to you guys is find a long line. We've all got a long line. And again, I mentioned before, it is, it's a necessity to have as a tool. Other people use retractables or I'll only use a retractable long line as a last resort because potentially they're not as good as you think they are in relation to there's tension all up, the dog's always under tension, you're fumbling around with the buttons and oh, flipping it, is it lock, is it not lock? Oh God, So every tool has its downfalls, but we need these things within our training program or a training journey to help us train effectively. So find the end of your long line. If it's got a hook on, if it's got a, a loop on it, great. If it's not, tie a loop into it. Alright? Put your hand through the loop and grab the line. Pull the line through the loop. Grab the line. Grab the line. Grab the line. And as you can see, we're kind of making you know, like those paper chains for Christmas that we all used to make in primary school? Like so, grab the line, grab the line, grab the line. I won't bore you with the rest of it, but when you get to the end of that line, you'll have the clip. Clip that clip onto the lead itself so it doesn't unravel. Okay, so the end result or the, the finished item is you rock up at your finger. All oh, right, here we go. All oh, right, and there's a pheasant oh, flipping it. Oh. There's a bit of Baylor's twine, there's my whistle, there's a dummy. Ah, here's the long line. Oh, flipping neck. Not tangled up whatsoever. Okay. The beauty of this is though, and that's what I mean when I say clip the clip onto the line like so. The beauty of this is though, is when you get to where you want to go, unclip the line, clip it onto the dog, and the lead or the line will naturally just unwrap. Okay, carry out your training, do your recall bits and bobs, make sure that you reward your dog when you get back or when he gets back. Um, just saves you spending too long uh, untangling long lines. Little tip from there. Have a great Christmas, guys. Um, enjoy it. Don't forget your dogs. Be mindful that this is a completely different environment for them and the stimulus and the stimulants that are going on within this new environment may cause them to act differently. Different food, food preparation on sides, food out on counters or, or dining room tables, wrapping paper everywhere, a thousand and one guests coming over all at the same time. So their environment is gonna change, but more importantly, it's gonna change to become more stimulating. So be mindful of that and don't forget your dogs. Have a great Christmas and a happy new year and uh, we'll see you next year.